So the biggest con for me shopping at the dollar store is the likelihood of a lot of the things ending up either cluttering my space or just ending up in the trash. And so this list is specifically designed to try to avoid that. So these are the type of things that you're gonna use or gift away and somebody will like it and use it most likely. You should be able to find most of these items at any Dollar Tree, big or small, and a lot of these are items you're saving big buying them there, and some are even brand named. So the first one on my list is Christmas gift tags. You can get up to 25 in a pack for $1.25, which is a great deal. They have a variety of different styles depending on your personality and the Christmas theme that you're going for. Some of them have glitter and metallic shine to them, so they're really cute and affordable and in general I try to get them there and then I have to mention gift bags as well they have a variety of sizes the other day I saw one that was like gigantic and it was like of a snowman so they have lots of more cutesy ones and more elegant looking ones that are you know white and gold those types of things so again variety depending on your personal taste and theme you're going for tissue paper gift bags tags all that kind of thing I think is smart to shop cheaply for those because they're a lot of times a once-use item I try to reuse the bags and stuff but definitely smart to save on that so you can spend a little more on the gifts and just save money in general Christmas cards they have like the normal ones that are two for a dollar I believe they're still that and then they have the more specialty ones that are a dollar each I think just fun and festive and good way to save money and get a nice card that's not you know 20 bucks or whatever the snowman one is really cute so one decor item I would recommend are those big candy canes that they have they've got the green and red and they also have the red and white that actually lights up so those are fun that they have those this year you know big sizable pieces for really cheap that you can pop in your lawn they're easy no DIY required and the kids love them Speaking of candy canes, buying candy canes at the Dollar Tree I think is smart. At least around in our home, candy canes are not our favorite treat, so they end up after the holiday scattered around uneaten. So buying a small box at the dollar store versus a larger box for more money makes sense to us. And they have a variety of flavors, which is fun too. I usually get like the sweet tart or the sour candy flavors because I like a little sour with my sweet. But this year I noticed they had cold stone flavors so different ice cream flavors there's three different flavors in the pack it reminds me of the cold stone jelly beans those are really good those are one of my favorites so I assume those will be good I haven't tried them yet but um, either way they're fun and great for the kids and they have some good options one thing I buy every year are the thin mints they have a great bang for your buck and they're like kind of mini size, like little mini patties. I love that small little hit of sweet and chocolate to snack on and are cheap and delicious and fun to give away as gifts or just to have around the house to snack on during the holiday season. Jumping into stocking stuffer specifics. Did you know the dollar store has retinol products? These have the potential to be of huge value. They're small and petite and great to tuck into, you know, a teen's stocking stuffer. I'm getting some for my husband too. Using that daily or at least a few times a week has a great potential to help with, you know, not just fine lines and wrinkles and aging and that kind of thing, but also reducing sun damage. So there's a lot of long-term benefits to it and all retinols, like the actual retinol ingredient, those are not all created equal and so you're not guaranteed a retinol that your skin is able to readily suck up and use right away, but it's still retinol. It's better than nothing, I think, using a Dollar Tree retinol product. They're unscented, there's nothing like bad in them, so there's low risk of it, you know, reacting to your skin badly or causing a problem, but there's a lot of potential for it to be good for your skin. It's never too early to start taking care of your skin. So for girls and teens and you know, like men often don't take care of their skin and don't want to spend $50 on a tub, even women. Like I don't have the budget to spend $50 on a tub of retinol. So I personally am actually using this product and liking it. It's hard to see results because it's a very 
slow over time it helps your skin and so you know it might be kind of a boring product but it's great for your skin and highly recommend so the one that comes in the bottle is just drops that you just rub into your skin and neck. You wanna do this right before bedtime because it doesn't react well to the light. That's why it's like an amber glass, it's tinted. So you wanna apply it right before bed um, for it to actually work. And I wanted to mention the one that comes in this blue and silver box. I have heard, well I've heard great things about both of them from Reddit and you know, comments and things. This one I've heard is great to use on your feet and I'm just starting to try this out so we'll see but I've heard that it works wonders for cracked heels and you know as a foot cream so and it's only $1.25 you know obviously you don't want to do the reverse like use a foot product on your face but you can use face products on any part of your skin because your skin is your face skin is the most sensitive and so just exciting to do something affordable and really healthy for your skin and your body so Along that skincare vein, they have really cool face masks you can find. You can find brand name ones too often, like Yes to Tomatoes and stuff like that. Those are fun because it's like a one-use product that you can do like on a special occasion to kind of pamper yourself and it's not a product that's going to be taking up space long term. I have a sister who lives in a tiny home and so that kind of thing I think is is smart. You know like food that she's going to consume and is going to be gone or you know like stuff that's either small or consumable and then it's you know like in a short period of time as long as you use it. Although I'm bad about using my face mask sometimes or sheet mask whatever you want to call them. So you might have to make a point if, if that's the personality type of whoever you're giving it to is they, oh, I want to save it for a special occasion and then it just sits there. Then, you know, Christmas night, we'll all use our face masks or, you know, make an, an event out of it so that it gets used and gets enjoyed. This little $5 journal is something you could get for a similar price, but I was impressed with the quality of the book and you know they're not like the typical notebooks you get from the Dollar Tree where the binding and the cover are cheap and bendable and are just gonna fall apart really easily it's it's a decent quality and it comes with a little bookmark that's what this is and a little tab to clip it so this is be good for like diary for a teen maybe or an adult like I could totally use this nice variety something that would fit in a larger stocking so they have those little massager thingies, which are always nice. Kids and adults love those. Different brand name chapsticks are great to pop in the stocking. They have hair masks as well. Those can be really awesome to really improve the health of your hair and do some pampering on your head. They also have books. You know, it's worth checking to see what they have because sometimes they have nice stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, I know somebody who would love this book. You know, it's a hit or miss with that category, but um, adding a book to stocking would be awesome if you could find a good one. I just discovered these Hydra Mate little electrolyte drink packets. I have not tried this specific brand from the dollar store, but like this kind of thing is expensive. My husband bought some a while back, um, maybe on sale or something. Anyway, he likes it. I don't understand the science of it, but it's supposed to hydrate you more than just drinking water. Like it boosts your hydration and he is terrible at drinking water and he's you know, like an athlete, he plays soccer, so he's always running. Assuming that the flavor, I mean, it's a lemon lime, can't go wrong with that, right? So um, I thought that would be a cool thing if you could get it for $1.25. Great for people who do sports or are just, you know, physical and athletic or for anyone who's worried about their hydration water levels. Don't forget about getting candy there as well. They have holiday specific candy, which is fun. Some of it can be kind of cheap and not so great, but there's some good things there. And then the different candy bars and just stuff you would find in the normal candy section are great to throw into with stockings. We love to get the Starburst all pink. For some reason, I can always find them at the dollar store. It's my daughter's obsession. And now she won't go back to the regular ones and she's kind of ruined me too, because the pink is like the best flavor, you know? So so now I'm a Starburst snob like her and I only do the, the pink. So that's a fun thing to get, like an extra special candy to get in your stocking. In addition to candies, you can get some fun snacks to throw in the stockings. They have some fun holiday flavored popcorn right now. And just the classic Skinny Pop, that's a good one. They, they come in small bags at the dollar store, but perfect size to tuck into a stocking or a gift. There are a few toys that I think are less likely to end up broken in in the trash. There's a lot of that type of thing at a dollar store, but 
they have like Hot Wheel cars or Matchbox cars. You know, those are pretty durable and good quality and for $1.25, a great deal. And it's become a frequent buy for us now that we have a boy. He absolutely loves those. He would just be happy if we gave him one of those for Christmas. It's, anyway, so they have a variety of different colors and those are fun and you know, a great size to put into a stocking. The little figurines that they have, like the paint work on them isn't great or they're just, you know, low quality. They can break off really easily. But there are some that I think are pretty good. You can always find the Minnie Mouse ones. Those are a solid toy that have lasted for us and they've got all the different characters. And then recently I've been finding Peppa Pigs at the Dollar Tree, which I thought was cool. So they have the different characters of the family, you know, slightly different from the version you would get like at Target. I think it's it's basically the same thing and great little small thing to tuck into a stocking that I think kids will you know actually like and use okay oh, oh my god so until I was making this video I didn't even realize they have lol dolls at the dollar store this is big news for a mom with a little girl but very exciting they even have like a few like lol doll like items like a pen that's multicolored which my daughter really liked too but they act they have the actual dolls they have the actual dolls there as well they're five dollars i think it's a good price they're small so you can put them in a stocking so that's been a major hit and they come with little accessories lol is king around here so Another fun kids toy thing uh, are these whack-a-pack balloons. There's four in a pack, you whack it and it inflates in front of you into a balloon and there's little like fun Christmas characters on it. You can jam a lot of different things in your stockings when you have small items like that. So I think the kids will enjoy that. Pampering for kids, they have Crayola bath bombs you can usually find and then finger paints. They've got a few other off-brand options as well. One thing I want to mention with these though, I try to get like more blue green tones when I get them. The store I was at, this was all that was left, the red and pink. Anything with a red pigment is more likely to stain your tub and then, you know, you'll have to spend a little time scrubbing it out after their bath. Just a tip to remember, maybe try to avoid the red. It should come out, but that's uh, something to keep in mind. This dollar plus item to these lab putties they're called. It's five dollars for three. Comes with like a little keychain, and they're supposed to be really f like fancy. I I don't really understand. Glow in the dark. You can mold them. You can write in it with it, the LED light. Oh, this is a light. I don't know, it looks very cool and multi-use. You know, because it's a pack of three, you can split them up into different stockings or something. It's stretchy, bouncy. This looked just cool, new and fun and something that kids would like, or even adults, like, it's a good like fidgety thing, you know? Like a, an adult fidget maybe. We'll see if it's a hit with the kids. I was excited when I came across these. Fruit Loops is kind of a special cereal around here and it's cereal straws. So my daughter loves cereal. She loves the cereal milk you get to drink after. So I thought this would be a fun win for her to do with her breakfast one day. This might be best for a teen or a young adult. These are temporary metallic tattoos. If you guys know Mr. Kate, she has like those freckle tattoos. So it reminds me of that. I wonder if they stole that idea from her. This one also has moon and stars and other pieces. You can just pick and choose what you want to use, I guess. Be fun to wear to a party or a special event or something, New Year's. These Beauty Guru products I've heard good things about. I'm trying out the Eyelash Enhance Serum. It comes with an applicator, which is nice. They have, you know, real coconut oil, real essential oils in them, kind of like the retinol. Like, there's good ingredients in there, no like artificial fragrances, very low risk of harm and low risk of wasting your money because they're $1.25. So again, good for like maybe a younger person starting out with skincare and makeup and that kind of thing. And I'm a big fan of the Aroma Guru roll-on essential oils. They've got, I love the peppermint one. I think they have lavender, maybe a couple others. Those are small, again, easy to tuck into a stocking. For daily use, they're easy as well. They're convenient and you can just roll it onto your wrist, um, behind your ears, your neck somewhere. And that essential oil raise your spirits and give you a little pick-me-up. I like to use it when I'm 
anxious or you know not feeling well and again that's a universal thing for boys or girls so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video Merry Christmas and I hope you guys have a good one love you guys thank you so much for watching you know did I oh